Hi guys, and welcome back to another educational video from Daily Knowledge. Someone once said that, once we believe in ourselves, we can risk curiosity, wonder, spontaneous delight, or any experience that reveals the human spirit. We all have dreams or goals we want to achieve, but, one of the things that held me back from pursuing my dreams for many years was fear of failure, and the lack of self-confidence that I needed to overcome that fear. It's something we all face, to some degree, I think. The key question is, how do you overcome that fear? The answer is simple. By working on your self-confidence and self-esteem. Without really thinking of it in those terms, that's what I've been doing over the years, and that's what helped me finally overcome my fears, and finally pursue my dreams. You need to take control of your life, in order to become more confident. In this video I will explain to you, step by step, what action you must take to become more confident. Step number one is groom yourself. This seems like such an obvious one, but it's amazing how much of a difference a shower and a shave can make in your feelings of self-confidence, and for your self-image. There have been days when I turned my mood around completely with this one little thing. Step number two. Dress nicely. If you dress nicely, you'll feel good about yourself. You'll feel successful and presentable and ready to tackle the world. Now, dressing nicely means something different for everyone. It doesn't necessarily mean wearing a $500 outfit, but could mean casual clothes that are nice looking and presentable. Step number three. Think positive. One of the things I learned when I started running, about two years ago, how huge impact can have replacing negative thoughts with positive ones. How I can actually change my thoughts, and by doing so make great things happen. With this tiny little skill, I was able to train for and run a marathon within a year. It sounds so trite, but my goodness this works. Seriously. Try it if you haven't. Step number four. Stop negative thinking. Goes hand in hand with step number three, but it's so important that I made it a separate step. You have to learn to be aware of your self-talk, the thoughts you have about yourself and what you're doing. When I was running, sometimes my mind would start to say, this is too hard. I want to stop and go watch TV. Well, I soon learned to recognize this negative self-talk, and soon I learned a trick that changed everything in my life. I would imagine that a negative thought was a bug, and I would vigilantly be on the lookout for these bugs. When I caught one, I would stomp on it, mentally of course, and squash it. Kill it dead. Then replace it with a positive one. Step number 5. Get to know yourself. Try to understand that you can't defeat the enemy without knowing him. And when you're trying to overcome a negative self-image and replace it with self-confidence, your enemy is yourself. Get to know yourself well. Start listening to your thoughts. Start writing a journal about yourself, and about the thoughts you have about yourself, and analyzing why you have such negative thoughts. And then think about the good things about yourself, the things you can do well, the things you like. Start thinking about your limitations, and whether they're real limitations or just ones you've allowed to be placed there, artificially. Dig deep within yourself, and you'll come out with even greater self-confidence. Step number 6. Act positive. More than just thinking positive, you have to put it into action. Action, actually, is the key to developing self-confidence. It's one thing to learn to think positive, but when you start acting on it, you change yourself, one action at a time. You are what you do, and so if you change what you do, you change what you are. Act in a positive way, take action instead of telling yourself you can't, be positive. Talk to people in a positive way, put energy into your actions. You'll soon start to notice a difference. Step number 7. Get prepared. It's hard to be confident in yourself, if you don't think you'll do well at something. Beat that feeling by preparing yourself as much as possible. Think about taking an exam, if you haven't studied, you won't have much confidence in your abilities, to do well on the exam. But if you studied your butt off, you're prepared, and you'll be much more confident. Now think of life as your exam, and prepare yourself. Step number 8. Know your principles and live them. What are the principles upon which your life is built? If you don't know, you will have trouble, because your life will feel directionless. For myself, I try to live the golden rule. This is my key principle, and I try to live my life in accordance with it. Think about your principles, you might have them, but perhaps you haven't given them much thought. Now think about, whether you actually live these principles, or if you just believe in them, but don't act on them. Step number 9. Speak slowly. Such a simple thing, but it can have a big difference in how others perceive you. A person in authority, with authority, speaks slowly. It shows confidence. A person who feels, that he isn't worth listening to will speak quickly, because he doesn't want to keep others waiting on something not worthy of listening to. Even if you don't feel the confidence of someone who speaks slowly, try doing it a few times. It will make you feel more confident. Of course, don't take it to an extreme, but just don't sound rushed either. Step number 10. Stand tall. When I remind myself to stand tall and straight, I feel better about myself. I imagine that a rope is pulling the top of my head toward the sky, and the rest of my body straightens accordingly. As an aside, people who stand tall and confident are more attractive. Step number 11. 
increase competence. How do you feel more competent? By becoming more competent. And how do you do that? By studying and practicing. Just do small bits at a time. If you want to be a more competent writer, for example, don't try to tackle the entire profession of writing all at once. Just begin to write more. Journal, blog, write short stories, do some freelance writing. The more you write, the better you'll be. Set aside 30 minutes a day to write, and the practice will increase your competence. Step number 12. Set a small goal and achieve it. People often make the mistake of shooting for the moon, and then when they fail, they get discouraged. Instead, shoot for something much more achievable. Set a goal you know you can achieve, and then achieve it. You'll feel good about that. Now set another small goal and achieve that. The more you achieve small goals, the better you'll be at it, and the better you'll feel. Soon you'll be setting bigger, but still achievable, goals and achieving those too. Step number 13. Change a small habit. Not a big one, like quitting smoking. Just a small one, like writing things down. Or waking up 10 minutes earlier. Or drinking a glass of water when you wake up. Something small that you know you can do. Do it for a month. When you've accomplished it, you'll feel like a million bucks. Step number 14. Focus on solutions. If you are a complainer, or focus on problems, change your focus now. Focusing on solutions instead of problems is one of the best things you can do for your confidence in your career. I'm fat and lazy. So how can you solve that? But I can't motivate myself. So how can you solve that? But I have no energy. So what's the solution? Step number 15. Exercise. Exercise has been one of my most empowering activities in the last couple years, and it has made me feel so much better about myself. All you have to do is take a walk a few times a week, and you'll see benefits. Start the habit. Step number 16. Empower yourself with knowledge. Empowering yourself, in general, is one of the best strategies for building self-confidence. You can do that in many ways, but one of the surest ways to empower yourself is through knowledge. This is along the same vein as building competence and getting prepared by becoming more knowledgeable. You'll be more confident, and you become more knowledgeable by doing research and studying. The internet is a great tool, of course, but so are the people around you, people who have done what you want, books, magazines, and educational institutions. And the last step. Be grateful. I'm a firm believer in gratitude. But I put it here, because while being grateful for what you have in life, for what others have given you, is a very humbling activity it can also be a very positive and rewarding activity, that will improve your self-image. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate all the support given. The main reason, why I created daily knowledge is because, I want to motivate you to pursue your dreams, to be hungry for more than a normal life. As Mr. Les Brown said, my favorite motivational speaker, nothing is impossible, you must do anything you can, in order to make your dream come true. Always remind yourself that it's too late to give up now, and in the same time learn more, practice more. Always shoot for the moon, and if you miss you will still be among the stars. I wish you all the best. Hopefully you enjoyed my video about confidence. If you really enjoyed click that like button, it really keeps me motivated to create more educational content for you. All the best bros and sisters.